Let's be honest, the tire, the suspension, the bike frame, the chassis is actually the continuation of your body within to the ground. If tomorrow you go running, what's in between your foot and the ground is actually the soil that transfer a maximum of information for you to control the grip, the drift when you are running. The tire is actually having this exact same effect when you are riding. So you do understand that the carcass and the deformation of it is actually key to get a good ground follow-up and grip when you are attacking. You will understand also that there is different layers that allow the global carcass rigidity. You will have the frontal rigidity, that is very important, but also the lateral one. You want to have a maximum of frontal comfort while you don't want to have too much lateral movement when it comes to have a low pressure. You will all the time notice that you can have a reinforcement that often comes on the side of the bead that, first of all, stop the punctures, but also limit the lateral deformation. Also keep in mind, you can either choose a lighter casing for better riding feeling and suppleness, or you can choose a reinforced casing with more lateral stability and overall reliability. This global dumping that the carcass is providing is very important for the grip, but also to a good performance and a huge success of a tire.